I am selling dreams. I am a realtor. And very often meeting people, for me, face is your business card. It's the most important because it's exposed. I feel my face is sagging and getting really all those hamster face and hair. And um, I'm, I'm working with many people. I flew from Orlando. I don't know a lot about New York, but I know a lot about Dr. Sin. He is the number one and only. Because when I started uh, making my research for many months, at least eight months, I was looking for the best of the best. Uh, each of those, sorry to say, scavengers, they ask asking hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, six fifty for consultation. And I was like, what? You know, and so I was hoping that his secretary or assistant, whoever is gonna call me, and then suddenly I couldn't believe doctor is calling by himself. He is feeling obligated to take care of his patients. He's not trusting anybody but himself only. And that was what he was the winner, no matter what. And I was reading about him that he's very, very huge perfectionist. And that's for me the most amazing thing. I trusted him in my life. I was model when I was very young and I see the aging and I refuse to age. I was watching his photos before and after and I was surprised and I was like, yes! He's the winner. He's the one. I'm completely relaxed. I'm just going for a photo shooting. I've never met a doctor in the United States since I live here 22 years. Never who's calling patients, who's texting patients, who's just calling and asking how you're doing. 70s. 70s, let's go back, turn, turn the clock back to 70s. Yeah, exactly, because we turning fat my face. Yes, exactly. <laughs> She's gonna be numbed up very shortly. And then the rest of the case is pretty smooth. This typically is the most challenge, painful part of the case, but our patient is a real trooper. She's doing amazing. The first part of the awake surgery, we saw the patient in the pre-op. She got a, our cocktail, as we call it, which is a mixture of uh, uh, oral sedatives and pain medication, as well as Zofran and an uh, oral antibiotic. I injected tumescent solution. That's probably the only part that the patient feels or is slightly touch uncomfortable. But our patient's a rock star. She did not even flinch. She didn't even say anything. Starting here on the rest of the procedure should be pretty straightforward. We're doing an awake facelift and neck lift using deep plane approach. We're also going to be doing facial fat transfer to her cheeks, her nasal labial fold, as well as the tear drop area. I want your chin to be really up. Higher your chin, the lower I can go in your neck. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. Very nice. We're starting the neck lift part of the case. She has a little bit of a heavy neck, so we're going to do a tiny bit of liposuction. Then we're going to do the platysmoplasty. We're going to open the muscle, get all the fat from underneath the muscle. Then we're going to tighten the muscle from the front. We're also going to do the extended neck lift, meaning we're going to open the muscle from the side and pull it up. We'll show you that uh, shortly. Yes. Yay! <laughs> See, our patient is happy and chirpy. Mm -hmm. So we've started with the neck lift part of the case. I made a small submental incision. And as you can see, our flap is nicely raised already. My next step would be, I'm gonna go under the platysma, get the fat out from under the platysma, 
and then do what's called a corset platysmoplasty that will give her a beautiful midline. And then I'm also gonna go from the side and tighten the neck from the side as well. We'll see that very shortly. Mm -hmm. You'll have to choose between your realtor versus modeling career. Yeah, right? <laughs> So we are now starting the facelift part of the case. We made an incision along the pre-mark incision right here. I'm gonna raise the skin flap from behind the ears, which is in the neck, posterior neck. Then I'm gonna raise the skin flap in the face part. Then we're gonna go under the smash and platysma. And then we're gonna enter into the deep plane approach, which we're gonna discuss very shortly. Still excited. So we have raised our skin flap. As you can see, the, the area to which our, we raise our flap, this is a lateral canthus. This is an angle of mandible. So it's raised all the way from lateral canthus to angle of mandible. I typically go just a tiny bit beyond it because this is gonna be our deep plane entry point. Under the muscle, under the neck, I'm released all the way. So our skin flap goes from here. You can see it coming out and it's released all the way down so now I'm going to go the deep plane entry, which is the, the point where the lateral canthus meets angle of mandible. This is where I'm going to go under this mass. And then I'm going to release all the ligaments all the way to her modiolus for her lower face. And then I'm also going to do some mid face elevation for her. And I'm also going to do an extended deep neck lift where I'm going to go under the platysma in the neck. And I'm going to go all the way to the trigonial notch and then pick it right back up. So we started our deep plane entry. It's right where the lateral canthus meets the angle of mandible. I'm under this mass in the face and I'm under the platysma in the neck. So this is our deep plane entry point, lateral canthus to angle of mandible. Then I go under this mass, then I go under the platysma. Just to give you an idea, I'm all the way, all the way here at the mobile. So all the ligaments are released and here I'm all the way up in the neck. I've also lifted the mid face. So if you see how much pull we are gonna get, just look at look at her neck. So we're getting beautiful pull in her neck to see how the, her jawline changes. So you see it's drooping like this. When we pull back, just see her jawline kind of already looks so beautiful here. We come back in the lower face all her jowling is going to get picked up so nicely. You see all the jowling, that jowling gets picked up beautifully. It's going to look so nice, the jawline, the lower face. We've also done some mid-face elevation, so her nasal labial fold is going to get picked up really nice. So if you see here, see her cheek and her nasal labial fold, it's, it's going to drape beautifully. It's going to come out nice, beautiful jawline, beautiful lower face, as well as her mid-face. And most of the work is done under the muscle, which is the sub smash or the deep plane layer. So this is our deep plane dissection. This line is where the angle of mandible meets, where the lateral canthus meets the angle of mandible. I've gone under. So there's beautiful pull in her lower face. There's beautiful pull in her mid face. And there's beautiful pull in her neck. The first stitch, I start at the angle of mandible right there and my vector is superolateral. So I'm gonna pick it up right here. I call this 20 ear stitch. So you will literally see her face getting pulled in a very beautiful way. And it's just gonna shape. This is our foundation stitch. So I'm gonna just put this back. And if you focus here, just see her jawline kind of already gonna start showing up beautifully. So just see the chain so we are right there see a jawline is so beautifully picked up and the skin is going to drape right on top so our jawline is already looking so nice with just this one stitch it's going to just continue to go better as we move up so you'll see with further stitches she will feel more tightening because we are literally lifting her smash and we're going to be lifting her platysma so now i'm going to go up keep going with that vector and then you will see her face kind of getting pulled so if you focus on the face here you will see that you'll see like 
tightening or pull with every stitch that I do. So just look at the change in the shape of her face. See how nicely that gets pulled. So I'm released here. When I pull the face, the vector gets pulled, it will just continue, will continue to do that. So I'm done with the face part of the lifting. It's gonna look really nice. We also do what's called an extended neck lift. So I have released her platysma from lateral, from side as well. Now I'm taking deep bites of the platysma. It's released all the way to the trigonial notch. And then I'm gonna get back to either the SCM fascia or her mastoid fascia. And you, you will see the, the neck getting tight from the lateral aspect. I think once you do that, you will never need to resect the submandibular gland. And it also gives your posterior jawline a beautiful shape. So see her posterior jawline, I can already see coming out so nice. Just look at the shape of her posterior jawline. We'll keep working on her neck. Keep going lower and lower and get all that platysma pulled up from the sides. And then we're going to repeat the same thing from the other side. So we, we did our deep plane left. We're in the neck right now, but I, I just want to take a quick pause and show our deep plane entry point is where the lateral campus meets angle of mandible. We go under the snaps, release all the ligaments. We go under the platysma, release all the ligaments. You can see her jawline is already looking so pretty compared that to the other side or the picture from before the surgery. And then we're gonna come back up, remove all that excess skin. It's gonna come out so nice. Her jawline, her neck, as well as her face is beautifully picked up. So we have raised our skin flap, we have done our deep plane dissection, we have lifted the face and the neck. The last part we did pretty meticulous hemostasis. Now, the skin closure is really critical. The way you want to do it, you do not want to have any tension on the skin. Facelift is a muscle surgery, it's not a skin surgery. So essentially our surgery on this part is done. Her face is lifted, her neck is lifted. The skin should just redrape on top of the face with no tension that will give her minimal to no scarring and she will heal beautifully. <laughs> That's hurting a lot? No. Done? Yes. You could take all. <laughs> Mm -mm. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Honestly. You are a real trooper. <laughs> you have a good sense of humor. Done. Yeah. Fantabulous.
<laughs> so that's her before. That's her on table result. I can't wait for her to heal up and she's gonna look so beautiful. I'm very excited for her. I'm very excited for this case. Yay! How did it go? Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah.